uh, talking to Riley O'Connor about the weather, and uh, we saw a bit of moisture out there today in Portland Metro. Yeah, it was a little wet. We saw some steady rain coming in mainly this morning, even some rumbles of thunder uh, reported. Saw some tweets and some Facebook posts of some of that uh, going on, mainly uh, late this morning into the afternoon hours. Of course, we've been seeing the snow up in the Cascades. Still some scattered showers out there this evening as we look outside. We're mostly cloudy again. Some of us getting a little wet. We're at 49 right now, and winds have been pretty light from the west southwest, just about seven miles per hour. Our highs today 53 degrees, average is 51. We're a little bit warmer down towards Salem at 56. Baker City around 44 degrees, and Pendleton topping off at 49. Temperatures right now in Astoria 47. We're at 51 in Salem, 49 right now in Portland, and you can see through the gorge mid 40s. A lot warmer than what we've been seeing uh, well last week at this time. 34 in Government Camp, and uh, Ben at this hour at 37 degrees. Now rain totals about a quarter of an inch for most of us or less, and uh, Scott, who's coming in about 2400. You can see more out towards the coast. Astoria coming in about four tenths of an inch as well as Eugene at four tenths and Hood River just about two tenths of an inch. Look at the snow up at Timberline though just about 10 inches of snow and we're going to be seeing more coming in uh, tomorrow especially. We still have that winter weather advisory that goes until midnight tonight for the Washington and Oregon Cascades and uh, out towards the Wallowa Mountains some light snow fall out in that area and snow levels generally about 4000 feet and higher and we can still pick up maybe an additional two to four inches uh, by tomorrow. But again, if you're headed out this evening, still a few scattered showers around, not looking at the threat for any real downpours in that area. But as we get some of these heavier bands of rain moving in towards Mount Hood, going to pick up some accumulations in that area. So as we go ahead and time this out for you again, a few showers off and on through tonight. We could see a little bit of patchy fog as well. Tomorrow we're going to start off, I think, uh, with some light showers. But once we start to roll into the afternoon hours, we have a frontal boundary that's going to start to make its way in. So between about 11 and 1230, we're going to potentially see some steady rain moving in. Of course, that's going to be making its way in towards the Cascades, and we'll see snow uh, uh, additional accumulations adding up. It's going to be breezy along the coast, too, gusts around 35 miles per hour. We're going to end up around 55 for you in Tillamook. Now, the I-5 quarter going to be definitely wet the further north you go. Still some showers down towards Corvallis, 55 in Salem, ending up around 53 degrees. Uh, east of the mountains tomorrow, the chance for rain and snow, especially in the Wallowas and the Cascades. It's been around 44 and been for you with rain likely through the gorge and that snow level again uh, between 4,000 and 4,500 feet additional 4 to 10 inches of snow possible getting into the holiday week. I think Wednesday is going to be dry for traveling still a slight chance of showers coming in on Thursday for Thanksgiving. But it does look like it's going to be wet Friday and Saturday and you can of course find all the latest updates coming up too with the weather on our coin six uh, weather app. Isn't it amazing that Thanksgiving is coming up already? It's going fast. Yeah. I'm uh, still out at the malls getting Christmas shopping done, of course. I'm almost done, but I'm looking forward to a little bit of uh, Thanksgiving food. Yeah, I think so. Me too. Well, coming up.